Good morning. Welcome to another devotional. Let's open our Bibles in Colossians chapter 2. Today, we're going to look at verse 16 and 17. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. And there it is, Paul's message right the way through this letter. Christ is enough. But as we've already discovered, not everyone was convinced of that. And there were these false teachers who were coming in. And by what they were teaching, they were implying that Christ was not enough. It's interesting you don't see them directly speaking ill of Christ by just suggesting that faith in him is not enough. And you know, we find this same thinking in our society today in different groups, different religious groups who would acknowledge Christ but would suggest that he's not enough, that what he has done is not enough. And Paul has just, just explained how, how Christ has paid the price for us, how he died on that cross of Calvary, how he was resurrected, how he overcame sin and death in our stead, how he wiped clean and he wiped away the, 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 the debt that was owed by us to God. He paid the price in full, how he vanquished the evil principalities and powers so that we might know freedom. And yet these people, whoever they were, Whatever that exactly they were teaching was suggesting, well, that's just not enough. That's not enough. Actually, there are things that, that need to be forbidden for you. There are things that you need to avoid. Certain foods and drink. He says here, therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink. And we know as we read this, we think about the dietary laws of the Old Testament. Could it be that they were influenced by these dietary laws? Could it be that they had set up their own system, influenced by paganism, but based on those dietary laws in the Old Testament? We don't know for sure what exactly they were teaching, you know? But we see that here, there are some striking similarities with some of the Mosaic laws in the Old Testament. It says all with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. In other words, it seems that these people were, were saying, you know, you need to keep certain festivals. You need to, to keep the Sabbath day. You need to do these things in order to attain a deeper spirituality. You need to avoid certain foods in order to, to be more spiritual. But you know, the teachings of the Apostle Paul, they teach us otherwise. Because Paul says that, you know, the kingdom of God is not in food or drink, is it? But in, in righteousness and peace and in joy in the Holy Spirit. We're told in Romans chapter 14 and verse 17. And so the message here this morning, the message that the Apostle Paul spoke to these, these first century believers in the city of Colossae is the same message to us. And verse 17, he explains it. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, ever, however, is found in Christ. They are a shadow. All of these things that we see and read about in the Old Testament, they are shadows. They are not the substance. And so, in essence, what Paul is saying is don't go back into the shadows. Let me just say something, that does not mean that we have license to do everything. Obviously, we need to exercise self-discipline. It, it, it's part of Christian instruction. It's part of the, the teachings of the New Testament that we need, to, we need to master the desires of our body. We need to exercise self-discipline in the things that we eat and how much we eat and so on and so forth. But what Paul is, is, is combating here is the idea that these people were, were making it compulsory. They were suggesting that it was absolutely compulsory in order to have that, that relationship with God. 
Friends, we need to be so careful because we encounter these same principles in teaching that is being thrown around today. Let me just clarify, I've got no issue in, in people keeping Sabbaths. I've got friends who prefer to keep the Sabbath Saturday holy. They are Messianic Jews. I've got friends who, who prefer not to eat certain foods. But let me just say that that has no bearing whatsoever upon one's salvation. And so just remember the message that, that the Apostle Paul was putting across here in Colossians. And it's the same message to us today is that Christ is enough. Only Christ. We need nothing else. Friends, plenty to think about again. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.